My name is Eliza, I'm 16 years old, and I'm using AI and nanotech sensors to detect diseases. Hi, I'm Mats, I'm 18 years old, and I'm working on generation four nuclear reactors to sustainably meet the world's growing energy needs. My name is Adara, I'm 17 years old, and I'm researching how to use bugger culture or insect farming to create alternative protein products. I'm Roxy, I'm 13 years old, and I'm using stem cells to cure nearsightedness. I'm using nanotechnology and evaporative cooling to end food insecurity starting in developing countries. My name is Elham, and I'm 16 years old. My name is Grant. I'm 14, and I'm working on developing drones that clean space debris as well as maintain satellites. I'm using quantum computing to completely eliminate cybersecurity attacks and communication latencies. I'm Alice and I'm 16 years old. Hi, my name is Ria. I'm 17 years old and I'm currently leveraging virtual reality and 3D printing to make medical diagnosis easier around the globe. My name's Kevin. I'm 15 and I'm using AI and causal modeling to prevent 100% of preventable chronic diseases. I want to use brain-computer interfaces to deliver personalized treatment for depression and anxiety. I'm Saumia and I'm 16 years old. I want to give people peace of mind by telling them exactly what's going on inside their body and helping them take proactive action. That's why at IRIS, me and my team are using injectable nanotech sensors and AI to calculate your predicted risk for virtually any disease. This ensures that you get the correct medical information and seek a treatment plan as soon as possible. Antimicrobial resistance is one of the biggest global health issues in the world, said to impact almost 10 million people by 2050. A moonshot company that I've been working on recently is Nanex, a company that leverages antimicrobial resistance and phages that can target specific diseases to end antibiotic resistance around the globe. At Zenetics, we really wanted to create a treatment and a cure that could target antibiotic resistance and end it once for all. As the disastrous effects of climate change accelerate, the world desperately needs a new energy solution to provide the 1 billion people in energy poverty with reliable electricity. Enter Andico. Our vision is to create a source of cheap, clean energy for everyone. To do so, we have designed liquid fluoride thorium reactors. Thorium, a far safer, cheaper, cleaner, and more abundant source of energy, can provide electricity to people who haven't even ever flipped a light switch before. Thorium is the future of energy. At Andico, we guarantee it. The problem that I'm interested in solving with this project that I call Carbivore is the huge environmental footprint that our current protein production industry has on the environment. And through that, helping to slow global warming and also address the food crisis simultaneously. And what this moonshot means to me is completely carbon neutral protein production by 2050, ideally. And this paves the way for a future of closed loop cities and a better future as a whole. There are over 264 million people suffering from depression, yet there are only four types of antidepressants in widespread use. But Revive, the moonshot company I co-founded, uses a simple headset and mobile app to monitor the neurotransmitter levels in your brain and deliver treatment accordingly. We strive to deliver personalized feedback, eventually implementing preventative measures to eliminate depression altogether. Dozens of satellites are lost every decade due to space debris. And as a result, space agencies are losing billions of dollars. To prevent this, Asteroid plans to use the Hive module. It is a set of relaying drones that both collect debris and maintain thousands of satellites. This would go into refueling them and even repairing malfunctions. My team, BioRoot Health, is focused on using non-invasive stem cell treatment in order to cure all types of vision defects. We created a non-invasive stem cell treatment administered through an eye drop, which can cure vision issues permanently. By 2050, we'll be able to change the number from 5 billion people who have vision defects to zero. I'm super passionate about AI and causal modeling and how we can use these technologies to solve hard problems. Topi's vision is to create a world where 100% of preventable chronic diseases are prevented. Topi utilizes causal modeling of complex genomic, epigenomic, and lifestyle data in order to generate personalized health plans for patients. I'm super passionate about AI and causal modeling and how we can use these technologies to solve hard problems. 
with around 44 cyber attacks being made per second each day, which is expected to increase as more IoT devices are connected to the internet, lack of security is one of the biggest problems. In addition to that, around 50,000 people each year die of hospital air-related deaths from latency issues. My moonshot company is Anaxa, where we design quantum IoT devices and network infrastructure for instantaneous, unhackable communication. Quantum is the next stage of computing, and at Anaxa, we're here to make it happen today. Many parts of the world don't have the proper technology to store and ship their crops, which is why 40% of food spoils before reaching markets. The end goal of my moonshot company is to create a hunger-free future in a world where no one has to worry about having reliable access to food supplies. And to do this, we're creating a nanotechnology enhanced evaporative cooling unit where farmers in developing countries can store and ship their crops in. And by storing crops in these conditions, a larger portion of food can make it to markets before spoiling.